Okay, let's find the critical points for this function. To do so, what we want to do is take the derivative, so f prime of x, use the power rule to do so, 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. All right, and then the next goal is to find any critical numbers or critical values. So these occur whenever the derivative is either equal to 0 or undefined. Now ours is a polynomial, so it's going to be defined everywhere. Uh, if you had a rational derivative, you may have it places where it could be undefined, where you would be dividing by 0. But for ours, I'm just going to set it equal to 0, and let's try to factor this. So in factoring, I think all three of these terms have 3 as a common factor. So let's remove that greatest common factor. That'll leave us with x squared minus 4x plus 3 on the inside. Now, I think we can factor a little bit further what's still left in our set of parentheses. So I'm probably going to go ahead and list 3 is the number we really care about over to the side. And the only way that can be factored is as 1 and 3, which lucky enough for us, those add together to make the 4 on the inside, that middle term's coefficient. So I'm going to use 1 and 3 to help us break this apart. So the x squared goes as x and x. We're going to be able to split the 3 apart as 1 and 3. Now we just have to make sure our signs are right so that if we add these numbers back together, we get that negative 4 in the middle. So negative 1 minus 3 more makes negative 4. So I believe we factored it correctly. Next, what we want to do is actually figure out what value, if we plugged it in for each one of these x's, would make each one of those individual factors equal 0. So we're going to get solutions to this at x equals 1, because 1 minus 1 makes 0, or x equals 3 for that second factor. All right, now these are what we refer to as critical numbers. Um, some books use critical values instead. But after we know what those are, we can make these into points by simply evaluating the original function at those values. So we have to take 1 as an x value and go back to the original function and replace each one of the x's with 1. All right, so I think that works out to be 1 minus 6 plus 9 plus 2, which will end up being simply 6. All right, we also want to do the same thing with our 3. So let's go ahead and replace each one of the x's in the original function with 3. And then we'd want to simplify this down. This one works out to be 2. So our critical points are going to be an x value of 1 went with a y value of 6, and an x value of 3 went with a y value of 2. So to answer this question completely, these are our solutions. All right, hope this helps out as you're working through finding critical points.